even through the worship, even through the prayer, mm. as soon as we start, something yes. sparks. It's higher, higher, stronger, it's higher, stronger. It's stronger, <laughs> and it becomes to a place where, you know, I say uh, this morning I was coming in and, and continuously in my heart, you know, God has allowed us to go through seasons, as His word says. Yeah. You go through seasons. And it's almost like as you're going through the season, you're becoming clearer on what God is wanting you to do. You're becoming more uh, open minded because God is, is actually showing you things. And it's like, you know, we have, you know, the world and people that are lost, people that don't know who Christ is. You know, it's hard for them to gauge themselves because why? The life that they live is focused on the very life that is in ahead of their face. Yes. Ahead, what is happening around them? around them? It's not, but us as a Christian, we've got a higher, you know, yeah. what God has given us. Yes. You know? But, you know, as, as I'm saying that, why we're so blessed? Because then we know that we are mostly the ones that are targeted. We are mostly the ones that are tested. You know, we are mostly the ones that you feel like, wow, this is a struggle. This is a test. I have to go through this, you know. And God is leading us way by way, you know, yeah. into where he wants to take us. Yes. Just like Pastor Chris was saying unto me, his life was nearly take, you know, the devil strike. He is trying in every way. He's trying his schemes, his tactics, mm. you know. At home, at school, at our workplace, at our peers. You know, wherever we we go and, and be ourselves around others, mm. you know, yes. we are always tested. Yeah, yeah, always Not only tested, we are also being uh, given to testify as well. Yeah. Before even you spoke, just the way you are, mm. the way you act, and that's when you're full of His presence, mm. people will, will like you, people want to come, you know. Understood. And when you leave that place, people say, hey, I miss you, man, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I remember we used to go to other gyms at that. I know at this gym I went back and then we, we really miss you, man. They say, huh. But I said, I cannot do much, you know. This there is a time and a season for everything. Yeah. You know, I cannot stay wherever I want to. But as well I say that for us as well. At the time when I was in the army, whenever someone comes in, mm. wow, I felt the presence. I felt mm. that peace. That peace. So thank God for this morning. You know. I'm not going to take long for us this morning, so I want us to uh, just turn to our Bible and to uh, the book of and as, uh, the book of uh, 1 Corinthians 10, uh, verse 12, and as we turn here, um, I just like to thank everyone that is here this morning. Amen. Amen. Uh, thank you for giving your time. Uh, I even have to thank myself as well. Yeah. You know, <laughs> to thank God for for like Pastor Chris said, you know, for giving us the strength, mm. you know, to come here and be and keep on doing what we're doing, having the fellowship. Mm. You know, as we were singing, I want to say something. As we were singing, I found it was something, sometimes. But I'm so grateful that we we come here every Sunday as well. And during the week, yeah, we need to do a lot of praise and worship in our own yeah, time. Definitely, you know, mm. we don't have that a lot of time because we need that time of God touching you. Mm. You know, and sometimes when you don't know what to pray, as soon as you start singing, singing. you're getting into it. It's like you're getting into His presence. Mm. You're walking. If if I explain it in like in a basic term, it's like. Me getting ready for a fight, yeah, or yeah. me getting ready to play rugby, yeah. or, you know, it's yeah. like I'm I'm zoned in, yeah. you know, my focus is is what is ahead of me, mm. and it's like that as we come to God, you know, but just be, but just on the other side is God is much more higher yeah. than the sports and other things, mm. as Paul talks about, you know, mm. well, you, you know, punching in the air is you know is not, you know, is not, but run in such a way. Mm. You know, run in such a way that you may win the call. Yeah. And that's the other thing as well, like, we're going to start looking into it, mm. you know, so just lessons that we need to learn in life. Mm. Uh, this morning, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, I was going to make it to read the whole verse, but you know what, I encourage us, um, if you go home this time or sometime this week, mm. read on to 1 Corinthians chapter 10, go down. 
But what I want, uh, what I will speak on this morning is First uh, Corinthians chapter ten, verse twelve. First Corinthians chapter ten, verse twelve. It says, "Let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall." Amen. Mm. Let him that thinketh he standeth mm. take heed lest he fall. I was uh, this week. This week has been a tough week. It's almost like you know, every time I come here, I'll say that it's been a tough life. <laughs> Bless God. But then God reminded me again this week, mm. you know, and I was sharing it to Joel, and I say, you know, um, and I was saying that you know, as we come, uh, as we continuously grow. And, and this happens in life as well. We say, don't be too overconfident. Yeah. You know? So it's almost like, again, it's like, almost like, rethink, recheck yourself. Hmm. Amen? All the time. Paul speaks here and he's saying, you know, let him that think that he can stand, take heed lest he fall. He fall. If you start reading the verse, the, the whole chapter of 10, hmm. it talks about Exodus when the Israelites with Moses and they were coming mm. from Exodus, exile from, from where they were at and they were going. Mm. The amount of time they were complaining, mm. amen? Complaining to God. After all the miracles God has been doing unto them, mm. bringing them to, you know, um, to the Red Sea, and when they needed manna, mm. you know, they still complain, you know. Even when God delivered them, you know, deliver them from when, when they were about to cross over. You know what? These people, they still murmur. Mm. They still complain. And sometimes you would think to yourself, wow, you know, they're there. They're looking at what God is doing. But after God has done that, they still complain. They still murmur. Mm. Amen? What God has given. Look, I'm, I'm sharing something here because God spoke into my heart. I looked at them, then I turned on the other side and I saw myself. Wow, that's me as well in time. <laughs> it's me, it's me, it's me. Amen? Yeah. As me, that's all of us as well. I can speak for that for us. Why? Because sometimes God has brought us from one place to another in his plan. Mm. And when we're there, we say, wow, this is hard. I might as well just stay back and die in a grave back in Egypt. <laughs> as the Israelites would say. Mm. Amen? Yeah. It's true. And it's like us, when you come up from yeah. that place, God has brought us here, yeah. and it becomes so hard, and you think, I should have, I should have never left that job. Never. I should have now, you know, came away from that. Yeah. You know? But God has got a greater plan in our life. Amen? Amen. He's speaking to us this morning. <clears throat> Amen? Amen. He's got a great plan. And as we are going, you know, with this church, and as we're going here, uh, I started to see that, you know what? When the Bible says that you know God, um, um, everything works together for God and for good for God for all those that are called and are, uh, that are called according to His purpose. Mm. That God is called according to His purpose. Mm. Amen. We need to see that. You know, sometimes we as if like you know, for though you know, um, we are astonished by. We are astonished as, as as Paul is speaking, you know, that he's saying that let him that think that he stand and take heed lest he fall. It's almost like I, I for me example is I'm in this situation where many times I forgot about it. So here are some of the things that I want us to look look through, you know, um this morning. This is a very for this chapter 10. I was saying, I might have to speak on to it again. I, I want to, it's, it's quite a long, long, long text. It's quite a, not a long text, but there's a lot of things that we can look into it. So this morning, you know, we'll look at and find out, you know, some first, I, I was going to look at, you know, some, of the, what is the characters, you know, the characters um, and the dangers and then lead to, and then lead, what we have all learned that we need to counsel ourselves. 
not to cancel ourselves, but what the Bible talks about and what the Holy Spirit will speak to us. This where you know Paul is speaking here, he's reminding back the, the, the church in Corinthian, you know, and he's saying that you know maybe when we become you know in, in a place so long that we become so confident, you know. What what is it that uh, people say when uh, when your feet becomes what um, it becomes dry in a place? First you come was wet, then it becomes dry, then it becomes so you know you you become you know you're confident, you're confident, and almost like you forgot you know where you started from. So here 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 are some of the character you know. Uh, why, why are we looking at the character because of the man we think he stands? You know, there is danger in it that he may fall. And the counsel is, he says there, is to let him take heed. There's a lot of things, you know, all over the world that we can look into. The characters, man. One of them is, you know, a man with a business. Man, a man in business, you know, he's filled with an arrogant, boldness, daring, who because they've been successful, you know, in his life, and he can risk them all, or he can lose it all. Because man is successful, amen? So these are the sort of characters. Another one is, you know, when um, others who presume upon their health, you know, spending year in sin and iniquity. You know, this, when I, when I was, I, I thought to myself, you know, one time, when I used to drink, you know, became the Ratu, I was, you know, God has already placed, but one time I, I lost my way, you know, and I, I was doing things that I was not supposed to be doing. And I used to be like, you know, a, a drunken fool. I've been drinking like three, four days, nonstop. And I think, you know, and I'm thinking I'm something. Whereas other men are uh, mortal and I'm a god, you know, because I can see myself that I can, I can drink. And, and as for that, I forget about my health. Mm. Amen? Mm. But what, 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 what I want to speak for us this morning is uh, for us as a church, you know, how we see these things. Amen? Amen. You know, for every Christian church, in church, men, women who think they stand, and men who boast or praise something excessively, you know, this is a few things that I want to I point out for us, you know, because my first point here is I'm saying that men who want, who boast about or praise something excessively, Fancy might and power. You know, as we, you know, as we go into knowing God, you know, as we're growing, this is, you know, as you are growing, because I don't know, like most of, like when I started, when I came to know the Lord, I grew up in church, but come in my teens, when I started to realize, when I started to get closer unto God, mm. I saw that it was important. Like, and it's almost like I was scared at times to move. It's almost like I was scared to do wrong things because I was so conscious about the sin and the effect. Mm. Amen? Mm. And, and that, as for that, like, you know, because you are young, you know, you're young, you're coming up, and you want to make sure that you don't, you know, you don't, uh, what's this? Um, what's the word for it? You don't make a wrong move that you will unplease God. Yes. Amen? Because you were young. And it was almost like at that stage, you don't even know should I move forward or should I stay where I'm at? Mm -hmm. Amen? And you're very cautious. Not only cautious, well, you go around asking ministers, what is this? You know, when you question a lot. You know? You question a lot. You're very conscious about your movement on how you, where you want to go. You know, because you're always thinking about what, you know, what, what if I do this? What would God think about me? Mm. Amen? But then, as you start going in, you know, in church, you grow. Amen? You grow. 
You grow so fast. When you grow, when you when you start growing, you almost forget. And as you get into it, like I always say, you get to, you forgot again how you started. Amen. How you are so conscious about the things that you do. Mm. Sorry, guys. I'm I'm already going into. I'm just like, <laughs> the, this is the first point that I wanna you know. Yeah. Uh, there is five. But I will only speak on one because it's such a big thing I want to speak on. Amen. Big point. First one, you know, you know, I, sp I speak now unto us real Christians, you know, who are not withstanding. You know, and the first point that I, uh, there, there is five points. First one is very common for us is the worldly prosperity. Second is the light thoughts of sin. Low thought of value of religion, ignorance of what we are and where we stand, and man pride. But what one I will speak on is the light thoughts of sin. Hmm. I want to speak on this one. Sorry if I, I stop. No? I want to speak on this one because so many times as we grow, it, we forget about, you know, we forget about what what we used to, you know, what what we used to be conscious about in our first place. Remember, as you grow. Don't don't take it for granted that everything is good, amen. You still have that thing, you know. You, know, you still have that sin, you know, or you still have that, you know, crashing at the door. Yeah. Because at this week, I was thinking about what, wow, you know what? I, I I I definitely need to check that. Yeah. Because as you grow, you think you're doing this work, mm -hmm. you know, you're doing church work, mm -hmm. you know, you're going about, you did this and that, you know. And Paul is saying, you know, let him that think and he stand that. Take heed, lest they fall. they fall. And even as you start reading this book, he's saying that even your forefathers, the, 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 back in the days, mm. in Exodus, they were also facing it. Yeah. Everybody is facing it. So that's my point this morning for us. I'm speaking to the, the light thoughts of sin. Mm. Amen? We, are, we, we grow to agree that we become callous and then we forget Hmm. You know our first step. I, 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 this morning, I, I want to encourage us. I speakly, I want to encourage us because I believe there's so many things that is happening in our life, and us as a Christian, and as you grow, even if you're young, you know. As you grow, you have to take complete care of everything that you're facing. Specifically on what is going through your life. Mm. You know what? I just found out that this week that that old me, I used to be very angry. Mm. And when I'm angry, it's almost like when I'm angry, I cannot, I hold it inside. Mm. Amen? And that person was coming back this week. That's why I was speaking about, you know, do not take, take lightly the thoughts of sin. Mm. And when I'm angry, I don't speak. It burns in me. Mm. And then when it's burning in me, then all of a sudden I do something. And something comes, boom, and it explodes. Mm. Amen? But then there's also, like I was sharing, time with Joel, I say, we are leaving that gap for the devil to work with it. Yeah. Amen? You're leaving that small gap for him you know, to take that big inch. Amen? So we cannot take that lightly thought of sin in our heart. You know? Paul is saying that, lest ye may fall. Hmm. Let him that think that he stand and take it. So, but my thing is this for this morning for us, is just to remind us that, you know, as we're walking with God, Pastor Chris said unto us, let's not work for God, work with God. Amen? So as we're working with God, as we come closer and growing closer to him, we need to pay particular care of everything that is going around us. Amen? Just this morning, I do, um, we all have our own thing. Pastor Chris mentioned this prayer this morning. We have to know who we are again. Amen? Amen. You have to know yourself. Who you are in Christ. What you are made of what God has made you from when you were nothing. 
you know, before before you didn't know Christ, then you came to know Christ. And as you come again, and as you in here, once you in here, don't lose your guard. As a boxer, the boxers they put their hands up like this most of the time. Why? So that they can cover the punches that are coming in, blocking, blocking. So they cannot. Whenever they they lose focus and they drop their hand, boom, you're getting hit. Amen. It's almost like what I'm sharing for us this morning. The light thoughts of sin. Don't allow it. Be mindful of it. Don't allow the little things to come in and to wind you up. Don't allow the things that you know will come into your heart. Then it's going to change your day. Because you know what happens? When it takes a day, you know, when, it, when you're affected there by day, and if you don't, you know, the Bible says that don't let your anger lead you into sin. And before the going down the sun, make sure, you know, you go and make, you know, good unto the other one. Why? Because if you don't do that, I've experienced, I think most of us experience that, it goes into the next day. Mm. Amen? Mm. And if you're not careful, it's still in there, it goes into the next day. Yes. And you feel like mm. you've lost it. Mm. You know? Or you feel like, you know what? Mm. You feel like, it's almost like you're stepping back every time. You're stepping back. But we are driving forward, amen? Amen. We're driving forward. Because mm. God is showing us something this morning. Yes. God is speaking to us. And then encourage us this morning. We were saying this morning, how great is our God. Mm. And He's speaking to us. You know, every day, the Bible says that His love is renewed every morning. Romans 12, too. You know, Romans 12, you know, um, by the renewing of your mind. Your mind. Mm. Amen? Amen. David says, Lord, create in me a pure heart mm. and a steadfast spirit. Mm. Amen. We are not immune. What we go through, what the, uh, the, the outsiders and the world that doesn't know God, what they go through, we are no different for them. Amen? Amen. The only difference is that we've received Christ yes. and we've got a goal and a focus where we're heading to. Because mm. one day, there's a real hell, there's a real heaven. One day God is only going to come for those that prepare themselves. Amen? Amen. Because everyone, one day, whether we like it or not, you look at what has happened in London. Hmm. I just went there when I looked at it and I said, wow, you know what? That's a holy war here. You cannot keep, continue to keep on working for yourself, saying to yourself, this is also including other Christians as well, who say it's only working for themselves. No. You're not only working for your 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 good lives or whatever it is to make you know. We are working because we know God has a, the Bible says that when you know the truth, the truth will set you free. Yes. We're working towards this truth because one day it's coming back. And I'm not saying this for us to just to like you know to scare us or anything. No. It's a message of confidence. Because why? At the end of the day, you know, God is surely gonna come back. And only take those that are, that are ready. Amen? So, I say, you know, um, so this morning, I don't want to get, I don't want to get, because I know it's only going to take, I'm just trying to remind us again this morning, that we need to be cautious. We need to think, you know, not only think, the first thing that we need, which we need the Holy Spirit. And if anything that is stopping you, if anything that is in your heart, if anything that is, you know, you know, you, you, you know that it's going to cause you to stumble or cause you to, you know, the, even in, in Corinthians 10, it says, which verse is it? It says, um, yes, even it says, uh, verse 13, it says, No temptation have taken you except such as a common to men. But God is faithful. Who will not allow you to be tempted beyond what you are able mm. but with the temptation will also make the way to escape that you may be able to bear it amen, amen. so god amen the holy spirit that's why we need his power that's why we need his strength that's why we need his guidance amen why because even through your weakness even through your even through whatever you 
You know, we were seeing this morning when I was saying, you know, how great is our God. I, I was looking up and in my heart, God spoke into my heart, you know, because I know myself. And you yourself will know yourself, you know, the wrong things that you do, you know. And I'm just thinking, wow, Lord, you're so gracious. You're so unforgiving, you know. Yes. Your love, you know. So much. Yes. Because then I can come here and I can be free. Yeah. I can be myself again. Mm. And I don't need to feel that burden of what I've done wrong. Yeah, no. You know, you know, and he's stopping me. No. Mm. Because I know his grace. I know his love. Mm. And I know through even my weakness and through, even through what I'm going through, mm. he still cares for me. Yeah. And he's allowing me. And he's showing me. And I'm showing it unto us this morning. Mm. That whatever it is that's going, but be careful, be mindful that God is working in your life. Yeah. Don't let, don't let that allow you to stop you. At all. Amen? Don't let that. Never. I just learned this week that, you know, and Pastor Chris is very strong in prayer and visiting you in his setting. And I learned this week, was it this week? Yeah, I learned that, you know, sometimes when you pray, you have to pray aloud. And as Pastor Chris is saying, so that the, the enemy and even else that we can hear, yeah. you know, in the name of Jesus. Jesus yeah. Amen? Thank God for His word this morning. You know, I thank God. I believe that it should be a word of encouragement to all of us. Christabel, wherever you go, with your friends at school, you know, God is watching you. You know, Pastor Chris at workplace, Joha, myself, mm. and our own families. Amen. And our workplace, people that are out there. Mm. You know. Let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall. Amen? Amen. So as I finish this morning, um, whatever God has spoken to your heart this morning, you know, I'd ask us, you know, every, every, everything that we're sharing here every Sunday, every, even every little thing that God places in your heart, mm. you know, you go and do something about it. You go and think over it. You know, Pastor Chris, priest of last week, uh, the Almighty God. You know what? And I was tested this week, the whole of this week. <laughs> <laughs> I was tested the whole of this week just to say, you know, God is Almighty. Almighty. <laughs> and you should know Him. And we know. But even on this Almighty, you know, I'm not saying that the, the power of God and that is there. But what I'm speaking on today is the small sins. Not to take it lightly. Yeah. It's still there. Mm. As you grow up there, it's still there. You have to be mindful of it. So check yourself. Gaze yourself. Yes. You know? So that I was reminded again this week and uh, I would thank God for what he's doing. That's what I'm saying. Every Sunday God is speaking to us. So this morning, I thank God for his word. Mm -hmm. I hope that it encourages us. I hope that you go from today that you will be uplifted. I hope that God is going to touch your life this morning. Not only touch your life, He's going to give you that wisdom. He's going to give you that, you know, that, um, that wisdom through His Word so that you are guided by it. Praise God. I thank God and I give God the glory, the honor to be His alone, His Word this morning. Amen. Amen.